Hey, 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 gamers. Welcome back to Croc Legend of the Gabos. We're continuing where we last left off. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. But, uh, I, I genuinely forgot to talk about something that did happen to me a while ago. Um, and I thought I'd start this video off with a topic. So, what? Like, uh, on the 8th or 9th or something, my Facebook account had gotten, someone had logged in and removed, uh, they didn't remove my email, but they removed one of my, well, they removed one of my additional ones, and they removed my phone number, and that sucks, because the thing is, I could not easily log into my account. I can't remember exactly what process I did to get into the account. I think I just, like, ended up, um, using my original email to figure it out, I think? Because, luckily, they didn't add, like, a secondary email and delete my primary email off of there for some reason, but they still got in. And it's interesting how they got in, because I think they got in through using a phone number to change the password to whatever password they had. And uh, they changed the information from there. And they, you know, I was surprised. <clears throat> and I didn't realize I got the, I, I, I found out it was hacked like a day after it happened. I don't check Facebook. I'm not like a Facebook user. You know, I didn't think, whoops, I didn't think that through. Anyways, I'm, I'm not a Facebook fucking user, so I don't care about Facebook. But uh, I realized that I had gotten a hack. I was like, oh fuck, what do I do, you know? And it doesn't help that Facebook doesn't really have a good system other than just two-factor uh, identification. I had not had that active because I didn't care about Facebook, you know? I only changed that recently because I, you know, I don't want to lose. I have at least some things registered on that Facebook account. But uh, they put it, they put an email in and their phone number. And I thought, hey, why don't we call it to see what happens? Because if I'm going to be honest here, uh, apparently the number is from France, so it's obviously a scam number, it's not like, it can't be someone's, we'll, we'll see, they'll, they'll be French, if they're not gonna be French, it's gonna be interesting, but let's just call it, I'm calling a French number, and keep in mind that their email, it said that they were logging in, in the US, uh, I don't, so they will, they must have been using VPN or something, so here, let's, Let's see if we can't call this number. Alright, so it doesn't exist. I don't they must they must have used some um Oh I don't know, like fucking Google Voice or something. Something similar to that where they just create a phone number and they're able to call or get text using it. I don't know. They they did leave their uh, Gmail, so I probably will end up contacting that just to see if I get a response or anything. Because I'm curious, you know. But yeah, I, just, I got hacked and I, <laughs> I fucking panicked. I was like, what the fuck? Really? I got, you know. And uh, what sucked about it is I couldn't get home immediately and fix it because I would have to do a stupid process through the computer. That would have been easier to do it on the computer anyways, you know? So yeah. Uh, and I don't, I don't even know why they got into my email in the first place, because they didn't do anything, at least I don't think they did. Um, yeah, they just... Come on, you fuck. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they didn't make any new posts, or they didn't start, like, posting in the groups that I follow. Which, I don't follow that many groups, by the way. I just follow yard sale groups and shit. Because I'm a gamer, and I like getting cheap games. 
at yard sales and garage sales and whatever fucking sales. But sadly, in my area, uh, it's mostly just senile people. It's mostly senile old people. Or just old people in general. In fact, most of them are religious, which kind of... If... You know, I'm not surprised, but a lot of the parents don't like... Like, whenever I ask, they would always make comments, Well, uh, we didn't like video games because they were uh, Satan, you know? You know, just something that, the for some reason, the... Oh, I don't know, past was really fixated on, you know? Calling everything Satan back then. Like Taco... <laughs> there was like a pastor that called Taco Bell uh, Satan or some shit devil's worship or some other thing it's just words that they, they don't understand like anything pokemon is the devil uh the avgn is the devil avgn i don't know the purpose of that yeah just just everything was essentially the devil Yu-Gi-Oh, magic the gathering um, Pokemon video games. It also didn't help that like what the video game violent shit happened, you know, like only lucky kids got uh, video games, you know. And sadly, not very many got lucky in where I live. Apparently, I only got like like lucky once. I got like a forty dollar uh, N64 here, and that's about it. Oh, you know what? No, I've gotten lucky twice, actually. Somehow, I don't know why, I asked this thrift store to save me, like, retro game consoles. I moved away for, like, a year. And I was like, oh, that, you know, they're probably not gonna do that anymore, because it's, like, too late. But, uh, they did actually save me consoles. They saved me three different consoles. Uh, that's where I got my PS1 my NES, and a Wii that I sold after. And I bought that all for like $10. Probably my uh, best deal ever. I didn't expect to get some for that cheap, but yeah, I ended up doing that. Now, uh, now I have to come up with another topic. Oh boy. Scams. Uh, hmm. You know, I don't think I've ever... I've gotten scam calls before. And I usually answer them in a joking manner. And I remember one time, I thought it was a scam call. I wasn't being, you know, I was like... Ugh. I answered in, like, that deep voice, gravelly voice. I was like, hello, who is it? And uh, there happened to be a hospital calling about a patient, I guess. And the patient must have given them a bad phone uh, like a false phone number or something i assume and keep in mind most of the numbers that call me are numbers from where the phone number is registered so you know they uh it looks like a scam most of the time so it was a number from there i was like uh shit you know and the fucking lady she was kind of she didn't like it she she was like uh, is this blah blah blah? I was like, uh, no. Can I speak to her? No. I don't know. I can't remember how I answered it, but all I know is that she just must have pissed her off. And I didn't mean to piss her off, you know? I didn't mean to. I, I, was, I genuinely thought it was a scam call. I don't know why these are here, but oh well. Oh, I think because if you unlock this button, which I don't have the key for it, I see. I see. I see. It would help if, um, Croc had a way to look down when you're jumping. Like, I know that there, that that can sometimes disorient you, but, uh, that would help very much in a while platforming cases in this game. Hold on, I gotta get him to grab that ledge. There we go. There you go, Croc. I'm making some good progress. I mean, I think I'm faster than I was at uh, the previous time I played. But I guess 
I was only slow at the parts when I got to like world four, so world three is dumb. Because keep in mind, this is icy. I don't know why, but every platformer has to have icy levels, which um, suck. I see. I would have to go back and. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm just ending the level. I'm not doing that. That's. That's. Um, yeah, no, I'm not concerned about saving gobos or getting all the gems and shit. I would care if I cared, but I don't care at all. I'm getting better though. I'm getting better at the platforming. I usually, uh, this game is kind of difficult when it comes to platforming. Cause you have to kind of know when to jump. See? Oh shit. It also doesn't help that it lags a little bit there. Oh, I saved another gobble. Let's go. All right. Let me think. Um. I guess. Fuck. I don't. There's. I haven't dealt with any scams. Okay. No. What, me and my friends uh, got together and we did a Discord call and uh, we were, well I was, I was calling up hotlines and um, scam centers. So I ended up calling a, what, a gay hotline? Because, <laughs> you know, I was just curious, I was going to be funny on the hotline, you know? And uh, hotlines... Yeah, they're kind of weird. It's it's a really confusing thing. And I did this on my Google Voice account, which I think got uh, deleted because of that. I'm not exactly sure why it got deleted, but it's, it's gone now. I don't have it. And I assume that's because of that. Well, that's not good. But yeah just got deleted can I I don't know if I can go that way I wish I still had it because I would still do camp uh, scam calls but I called a gay hotline and it's not like I was being mean on there or anything I was just joking around but there's some guy who like answered the fucking phone he was like do you want to fight I'm like yeah I want to fight let's go fight where you want to go she just wanted to really fight. I don't know why, but I, 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 I was like, yeah, let's fight, bro. I ended up hanging up on him because I was like, I don't know about this guy. He's, he doesn't seem like a good fighter. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm not going to fight this boy. <laughs> this big grown-ass man. <laughs> and then I called a couple of other hotlines that were... Uh, you know, they were just funny because of how <laughs> stupid the pickup lines are or other shit like that. And then we, sc we called a scam caller. And uh, what, I, I think I called him and I was like, Hey, uh, listen, my my boy, my sweet dear boy to me, my boy. He, he looked at those damn godforsaken websites again, downloaded a bunch of viruses. Kev... I told him not to do it. I done told him, but he didn't listen. Uh, could you, like, get rid of these viruses off my computer? And he's like, so, so, you need to, uh, you need to download Microsoft, uh, first, you need to download Microsoft tech support, please. He's like, yes, yes, I'll download that. Uh, oh, no, 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 he wanted my fucking credit card number first. And he's like, it's, uh, it is five, two, three, eight, seven, five, nine, three, two, eight, one, 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 one. <laughs> I just kept 
<laughs> sir, sir, are you are you giving me your credit card number? Please give me your credit card number. This is. Do you not want this virus of your computer? I do. It's one, one, one. Wait, do I need to restart? Is this? Do I need to? Do I need to restart the? God, the camera fucking sucks there. Do I need to restart the numbers? Are you? Did you even listen? Are you recording this now? I'm giving you my credit card number, so you are not being uh, you are not being serious with me. I need a I need a uh, credit card number. I'm being as serious as I can. One, one. Wait, did you say you wanted me to restart? I th he ended up paying it up on me. Uh it was sad. I cried. I uh, I hung up the Discord call. Uh, for well, I did burst out in tears before I hung up. Uh, I it was sad. It was really sad. Uh, I I kind of. You know how uh, whenever a character gets sad in a movie and listens to like a sob song to feel better? That's essentially what I did, but uh, I did that for a straight up month. I just cut all the contacts with everybody and uh, I started listening to what? I can't remember even, I can't even remember the song, I repressed it honestly. It was a, it was a very, I, I, on, I might get PTSD from that moment honestly, which um, probably probably shouldn't joke about PTSD is serious but you know I did seriously have it from that uh, traumatic moment on that call when he hung up that's why I have abandonment issues you know I've, I've talked about it several times uh, I have abandonment issues and can't do anything about that but yeah Trust me, if I could, I would, but I can't. It's not my fault that that happened to me. You know, my my big boy dad, my big daddy just left one day and I was like, <sighs> you know, sad. It just happens. Oh, no, who yo, ha ha ha. That was scary. All right. Oh shit, wow, well, that was cool. And then we should get 50 gems from this. And I can't remember the boss. Did they even show the boss? Did I skip that? I might have skipped the uh, boss footage. Oh, okay. I was not paying it. I, I genuinely don't know if I did that or not. What? I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. Oh. I think I just have to knock him down when he does that stupid shit. Um. What? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this boss fight, but okay. There you go, it's done. Which, uh, yeah, is pretty good, because I, uh, I believe. How quick was I with that? I'm going to be amazed if I was really quick. Oh yeah, he just fucking corrupted a bunch of goats. Baron Dante, the evilest creature in the whole damn world of Croc. I don't know, does Croc ever save his parents? Cause uh, I think the backstory here is that Baron Dante kidnapped his parents and put them in another dimension or some shit. I don't know. But uh, this is a great point to end the video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Click the bell notification so you know when I upload uh, new videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.